Hello and welcome to Triple Editorial. Um, guys, I hope you are doing well. <laughs> uh, in our previous video, we do I teach you how to d design a business card from scratch. Okay, so today we are going to design a letterhead. Okay, and I'm going to show you the easiest way to design a letterhead. Okay. Um, actually, I used to refer it as a smart way, okay, of designing, okay. So with a uh, letterhead, actually, uh, it's that simple, but a uh, letterhead actually gets rejected by many, okay. So more time, when when you have been given a job to do, and it's about uh, letterhead, try to seek from ideas from the net, okay, but tend to free pick. We can go in and say download a template that we think that oh wow this template is good for this kind of project that i've been giving up to do okay so and the secondly to the flyer that we did i we we created one from scratch and uh, i use um we we also create the co company one using um the free pick okay Many are having challenges, okay, how to work within the uh, free pick template and uh, make it more kind of uh, customized, okay. So with this letterhead, we are going to take everything from free pick, bring it to our Adobe Illustrator, then we make changes and make it ours, okay. <clears throat> so as you know, we have the free pick site already. By now, you should be familiar with all what uh, it's about, okay? So, I have already downloaded this template, okay? So, I have it on my desktop. So, I will just extract it. Some, in some cases, you can just open it, okay? Then, then double-click on this uh, EPS file, okay? Now, let's take note. Some of them comes with the Adobe Illustrator file itself. Then, with the EPS. And some also comes with only EPS, okay? So this, this and this image of uh, the letterhead, okay? This is just an image. So when you click that one in Adobe Illustrator, so nothing is, is going to happen, okay? So with this one, when you double click on it, for sure it's going to open, okay? Some also want to extract it. So you right click on it, then you extract it to the folder. So that's it. It has been extracted. Okay. So we can open it and the same double click is going to open this file. So let's double click it and open it. All right. So he's telling us that there are some, some missing fonts there, but we, we want to use our own font. Okay. So we close it. All right. So now let's zoom it big. Okay. So we can see it. Clearly. All right. So as you can see from the top here, we have the logo, we have the company name here. Then this text actually don't bother about it. Okay, don't bother about this text here. Okay, it's just a format there to show the client that oh, this is how your letterhead is going to look whenever you put uh, a letter on on it. Okay, this is how it's going to look. Okay, so for this center here, please don't bother about that okay so now our main focus here is to make this template ours okay so without much time let's click on it so when you click on it when you click on some of the template this is how it's going to show okay so which tells you that all oh, everything on that artboard is being grouped so we right click to ungroup it first okay all right so after ungrouping it Let's see to this logo. Now, now we need to ungroup another one too again, okay? Or maybe some of them, this one is just at the front of it. Okay, so we can choose to delete it. Okay, so then right now we can have our main A4 sheet. With this OBS here, don't worry about it. When you export it, they are not going to show, okay? Uh, so because we are having the printing area, the, the bleed area here. Okay, so now let's go straight to the points. Now I want to 
make to first I I have to ungroup this and this is the logo so I just have to bring them my logo to place uh, we'll go to place uh, project I have my logo here okay so I'll click and drag all right nice okay now let's zoom the top there a little bit so we can see what is happening there okay so I'll hold on my space bar and move the page around okay so now I have my logo here so I don't need this logo so I'll delete it and I'll, I'll replace it with my logo okay I'll hold shift to resize the logo a little bit all right so I'll just align it nicely okay now the name okay when you pick the text to here so you just have, have to click then you start editing okay so the first word is triple okay and i want the a to be good as well so i'll, I'll use it for but for the tutorial i just want you to have that okay so now we have changed the company name the logo now the slogan okay this the slogan i'll just go in for my text to and click on it i like to and i'll type the make design easy okay so i'll just align it and okay so this is a speed it's a little bit okay so now we are done with the top all right so now with this blue re rectangle i don't want, want it to be there so i'll just click and change my color so let's see uh, i want orange okay so that's the orange color and i realized that the or or orange there doesn't match my orange color so i'll just go in for my eye proper to then i'll just click okay so i'll just get a perfect match there all right we can just select all as well then we'll pull it down a little bit okay remember we are making it ours so all right so now we are done with the top it looks beautiful so let's scroll down here okay then down here we have the phone number and we have the email and the website and we have the office it's a location okay so i'm going to edit this one first i have to ungroup it all right i just have to ungroup this whole thing then i will just have to ungroup this one as well from the phone icon all right so now i have the text here so when i pick my text to from the two panel here all what i need to do is just start typing my text so two three three i think zero zero five five six one five one eight nine three then you press enter okay so this one two two three three two four four two one one six four four okay so i think i didn't bring the that all right so this how it's going to be so let's select it so all will be in the line okay now with the websites I have my website or, or already so it's triple a two so I'll delete the dot com and replace it with XYZ okay then I'll put my info I have my email address then it's triple a two okay dot XYZ all right so now we with the web website some normally put www dot okay whether you put or not but always as far as your web address is correct when you key in it to go okay so now with the address uh, i have one uh, number five uh, sakura taxira okay taxira adenta Accra. okay so now as you can see we are done editing everything here so with the color here we can play around it okay and our uh, colors are uh, orange so we can choose the selective of oranges so let's 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. As I hope you are you are following. So let's see the color guide that you are showing. So this color guide actually any color that you pick from here, okay, from here actually when you go to the it's a color guide, it's going to give you the guide. So that's what they used to create these steps here. So my first one, I just want it to be light, and the next one to be lighter. Then the next one also follow to be a, a, a little bit light and the last one to be this color so you realize that it falls in line okay systematically okay now with the black here okay, it should be because my label contains black so i don't have problem with this green here okay so but the icons i have problem with the icons okay but the icons have to correspond with so normally on gray orange looks nice on it okay so then you click here so to do that you double click as as i've been saying then you select the orange you click here to go back then you will let's select the phone icon as well give it the orange color okay, i think the phone so we have to highlight just to select all then we just give it the yellow color okay so when you are okay let's end it and at the end of the day you see that we have this beautiful entire design in just five minutes okay so for the sake of the all orange i did i just want this gray to be solid color okay so i'll go to my colors choices here and i'll just select black Okay, or you, you can just double click on this fold here, then you go in for raw black. So the raw black actually code is zero 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 zero. Okay, then you click OK. So you realize that it's more dark. Alright. So you see within few minutes we have been able to design a letterhead. And this when you send it to a client, but always there is no way the client is going to rejects okay so now don't worry about the background the, the red red background the back of the text the text okay when we if you are to export it to image all this will not show okay so when you are done filled you have to save it okay so you have to save it and and it's going to save it in the dps so if you don't want that you come, you come to save us. So the save us give you opportunity to give in your own name. So let me see my letter head. Okay. Then I will change the EPS to Adobe Illustrator, which is the AI. So this will save it in Adobe Illustrator. I will not have it in the EPS again. Okay so now let's export it uh, let me use the so just to bring it okay so let's export it now we go to export export as then let's okay it's on jpeg that's cool so i'll just export it to my desktop so i'll export it and because of is a thing that you are going to print if you are going to print it, so the color automatically is CMYK. Okay, so that's the CMYK actually stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Okay, so the C stands for cyan, the M stands for magenta, the Y stands for yellow, and the K stands for black. Okay, so that's the color code that they have for printing. Okay, but for now, we are not going to print it. Okay, we, we are just sending a soft copy to the client okay so we just change it to uh rgb which is red green and blue okay so let's click on see let's go check it all right so let me close this one so you can see we have it saved on our desktop let's open it and see you see very nicely but because of i removed the back ground there okay that's why it cuts but it shouldn't be so okay it shouldn't be so so 
now let me show you one thing so you not encounter uh, such problem okay first when you are to export an image when you are to export an image you see this use at word okay you check market okay you just make it active so, so making it active it will take exactly the at word size okay so let's see that one one and let's see i just want you to notice the differences okay so i'll just click okay all right so let me minimize it let's see the difference so let's double click and now you can tell the difference right you can tell that the difference okay so you realize that now we we have the full size but when we have to check the second one you see that the up there is cut okay so when always exporting an image especially please try to check my that you at work so you don't end up doing double job like the one i just did but it's good that this happens so that uh you know that when you encounter such errors this is what you need to do to fix it okay guys so this brings us to today's lesson and i hope you enjoyed it very well and always when it comes to the design world actually it's not anything that you worry your in your head to design it honestly you just have to be that smart guy but in fact you must know the tools so for you to know the tools you, you just have to be practicing okay guys so uh with this one you have to create three letter heads okay go to your free pick select different different types of letter head okay make one for your company one for make, make all the three for companies okay for the logo if you don't have any logo don't worry about, about it you, you can leave the one that is there okay that triangle shape that is there you, you, you can just leave it there at is as it is okay but uh, down here as i did i just want to see that effect all the things that i changed i just want to see the effect okay guys so this this um this tutorial actually shouldn't be long but because of i i just want you to and understand it more and have more uh clear vision around around, around it okay so that's why this video is just late. But I, just, I can't just, just go in and pick it and just be doing it without telling you what it entails. Okay. So, all right, guys. So we end here. See you tomorrow. Okay. And please do subscribe to our channel. Do comment. Okay. Thank you, guys.